Hey guys, welcome back to Rota. So we are going to do Sagittarius reading. Divine can determine the holy truth, nothing but the truth. For Sagittarius, give me one second. Uh, okay, guys, let me just do this really quickly. Okay. Sagittarius, what's going on with your energy? It feels like you want to explode. You got so much to say. You want, yeah. You got so much to say, and you don't know how to say it. You're rambling. I feel like you feel rambling, or you feel like you feel scrambled in some type of way. Divine, you tell me the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Yeah, you want to. You're very feel very defensive. You want to take a a a to a Jamali request. Are you mad at Jamali request? Are Jamali request maybe mad at you? Divine, could you tell me the whole truth? Nothing but the truth for Sagittarius. You want something to happen fast. I hear fast action. Fast action, cameras, lights. Some of you guys can be in the spotlight. Yeah, you feel blocked off. If you got it. Okay. But I'm definitely getting that. You just need to sit and wait and have patience. This is just as being blind. Okay, yeah, work. So continue working on yourself, working on whatever you're working on, building up your money, building up your pentacles. I'm getting that you're very close. Some of you guys could only probably save up two thousand dollars or one thousand or whatever, but that's the energy I'm getting. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to hear that. Yeah. Okay. It's going to just give it time. It's coming. I'm getting you working on yourself. You're working on things. I'm going to save in money, too, as well. The body can you tell me the whole truth, nothing but the truth. For Sagittarius. Sag. You're heartbroken by the cancer. Yeah. Somebody's coming quick to tell you something, Gemma Labor Aquarius. You're heartbroken by the cancer. Something happened by, by the, a cancer. You may hear that a cancer got betrayed or died. A cancer is a cause. Okay, so that's the energy I'm getting. Bottom bed. Okay, so communication about money. Money is definitely whatever debt this is, debt brings money. That's all I'm going to tell you. Some debt, somebody's debt brings money. Literally, that's the energy I'm getting. I'm getting somebody's debt brings money. The death of someone brings you a lot of money, Sagittarius. Yeah, that's the energy I'm getting. Because you go from work, working on yourself, you know, wanting to save this thing, communication by King of Pentacles, possibly a Taurus. However, there's a communication coming in about money. <laughs> yeah. Someone passing away brings a lot of money. That's the energy I'm getting, Sagittarius. Okay, and I'm getting as well that you may find you may find out the, re the, the I'm not gonna be honest with you. The reason the thing I'm getting is that in life you may want to take fast actions, but however you feel blocked in some type of sense. It has been a cancer causing this in your life. That's what I'm getting. Um, and. It may be heartbreaking, breaking, or it's maybe breaking your heart to know that this cancer is the one that stopped you or has been stopping you and so moving forward and causing betrayal and negative energies in your life, right? However, yeah, you're going to be very happy. This person that, I'm sorry to say it, but it's the truth. Victor, Victor, I'm not lying. This is, this is, this is spiritual facts. Yeah, no more stand, yeah. No more um, being up in your head and I can't sleep. Stability comes in. This is no crap. This is exactly what I see for you here. So I'm going to switch these scars around because give me an inch like switch it around. Because this is like. Yes, yeah, give me an inch like switch this around. So I'm going to put this over here to the left for you. And we're going to put all these things to the right. And then we're going to turn it to this side. Um. 
because the energy I'm getting is that we got, I want you to receive this energy here. It's like the energy I'm getting, Sag. Communication about money is going to come in. You're going to have happiness and be victorious. Stability in your family's home life or whatever. King of Pentacles, million status. Something is definitely going to grow. Your money and finances, all the decisions you make in your life is going to grow. If a cancer passes away, that remove any blockages or migraines you had in, in your past. Back pain has gone. Um, headaches gone. Um, feeling lost or confused, that's gone. Um, feeling so you have so have support and you have to fight for support, that's gone. This cancer is a reason for everything that's been negative in your life. That's the energy I'm getting, okay? Some of you guys can also just be going through a spiritual death, or spiritual transformation within yourself, where you realize, basically, that you have been an issue for your, all your problems. You have been in your own way, basically. You're the one that caused your own self blockages for some of you guys, right? The energy I'm definitely getting here is that someone here is taking fast action. Some of you guys could also be doing a general Libra Aquarius, a Taurus World Capricorn, Okay, but I'm definitely seeing an energy here where someone, because of someone passing, be someone making, or because of you making a decision within yourself and saying, okay, where I have to part play in my life or what do I need to do? You're making changes. And because those changes are coming in, it like replaces that negative energy to positive energy. So it's like a transmission of energy. So I'm going to name it, I named this transmute, yeah, transmution, trans. Transmutation, transmuting, yeah, transmuting, transmutation, um, mutation is I win. Transmutation of energy. I'll just put transmuting energy, right? Um, but that's the energy I'm getting in reference to that. Okay, and some energy is definitely it's a rebirth going on here as well. Okay, so a Scorpio could also been stop you trying to stop you from moving forward with your life. A Cancer, a Scorpio, Gemma, Libra, Aquarius, you know, but I'm definitely getting heavy cancer here. Someone is going to pass and it's going to make you rich. I'm sorry to tell you, but it was the truth. Whatever change you're making is going to make you rich. If you're, if it's you changing within yourself, it's going to make you successful regardless of whatever you're, you have been going through. It's going to make you successful. Anything else divine? Yeah, you got to equal give and take with opportunities with people. Okay, something's going to be balanced out in your life. Um, you yeah, give and take it with a mother figure. Yeah, it's like a complete. Okay, people are going to be working with you online. Yeah, you're an investment. Okay, so people are seeing you as an investment. Um, and some of you guys can be investing, like I said, and stuff like that. Some of you guys can be investing in a child or a situation with a child where you're thinking about it. Um, you haven't fully decided it yet. Yeah. Yeah, star card. Yeah. I don't see no negative energy for you, Sag. Honestly. Yeah, you're going to... Wow. Wow. This is no... I'm taking all this for you right here. Yeah. This is dope energy right here, Sag. Definitely. I'm also getting as well, and this is the crazy part, I'm getting that a cycle is complete. You are emotionally fulfilled. Some of you guys can be dealing with a Virgo. You can give and take an opportunity, investing in a child, thinking about it as well. Or investment. Or somebody so see you as an investment or you have been always had been an investment. Tell um Ten of Pentacles, legacy and wealth. So wish fulfillment. I'm getting after somebody trying to put the burdens on you. You become this beautiful star. I'm getting somebody guys do with an Aries or actually um the justice or whatever or police officer or whatever trying to burden you with something, but however you get your wish fulfillment in the end. Regardless of whatever, like that, something so you get support online, messages come through, you're being confident working online. Okay, so whatever it is that you are going to be successful, um, I'm just getting transmission of energy here where where something was negative in your life becomes positive, wherever there was a positive, negative situation is positive, positivity versus negativity. You made the choice. I, I can name that too positivity versus negativity, positivity. Versus ne negativity, you make a choice. You made it, or you made a choice. Negativity. You made a choice. You made a choice. Right? That type of energy. That's the energy I'm getting. I am going to pull for you. The angel. Right. Okay. Fast action. Divine contentment holds for nothing but the truth. Passage. 
Okay, miracle, yeah, the miracle of nature. Something is a miracle. Whatever is going to happen in your life, they think you angel for helping me reconnect with true nature and fresh air. Something is going to happen that's a miracle. Yeah, the miracle of forgiveness. Divine Father, thank you for co-creating my world with me, Jeremiah, for helping me understand the process of forgiveness. So because you're learning forgiveness, you're actually self-healing yourself from the betrayal, the heartbreak, the mind manipulation games. and all. You're changing. So this is what it is for some of you guys, too. You're changing. Okay? You're you're doing the inner work. You're, you're healing your inner child wounds with your grandmother, your mother, your whoever, your loved ones, your sister, your brother. You're healing. Yeah. You're trusting your inner voice. Some of you guys may get in. Yeah, trans going through a transformation. Yeah, you're opening your heart chakra. Miracle of first. The death of all. Some of you guys can do music. You know, so like I'm getting all this beautiful energy for you here. It's like it's because of the simple fact that you open up your heart chakra. So where your heart was broken, now it's gonna be healed. All right. Divine, can you tell me the whole truth? Nothing but the truth for Sagittarius. Divine, can you tell me the whole truth? Nothing but the truth for Sagittarius. Yeah, you're dealing with somebody that's a divine feminine. You're probably gonna stay or be with someone for 12 years, or you're gonna be in a 12 year relationship, whatever. Divine, can you tell me? Or you probably knew somebody since we were really young. Divine, can you tell me the whole truth? Nothing but the truth for Sagittarius. Some of you guys could deal with a musician. Some of you guys are musicians. Divine, can you tell me the whole truth? Nothing but the truth. Divine, can you tell me the whole truth? Nothing but the truth. I don't take when it all exposed like that. Like I got asked for it, but divine, can you tell me the whole truth? Nothing but the truth. It's supposed to be like a speed reading for you, you know that, right? Yeah, wealthy man. I'm done. 12 13 is a match. Okay, 12 13. Um, so you guys could be, yeah, December the 13th. Okay, 12 13. I already pulled the agents down. 12 13 could be significant to you. Um, whatever it is, energy is giving me, it's a match. Somebody matches your frequency, somebody matches it, matches your energy, your frequency, or something like that. Divine, can you tell me the whole truth? Nothing but the truth. Death. Like I said, someone is actually going to pass away or someone is literally going through a transformation here. Divine, could you tell me the whole truth? I don't, yeah. Divine, could you tell me the whole truth? Nothing but the truth. Divine, could you tell me the whole truth? Nothing but the truth. Unconditional love, divine mother. Yeah. Possibly a mother figure might pass or... A grandmother might pass or whatever, but divine mothers here. Yeah. Universe is also giving you unconditional love as well. Divine, can you tell me the whole truth? Nothing but the truth. Fire is Sagittarius. Divine, can you give me the whole truth? Nothing but the truth. I'm not going to pass. Celebration, suffering, life force, Aphrodite, devotion. Somebody's devoted to you. Yeah, somebody's going to be growing suffering. Yeah, somebody's, yeah, despair. Celebration, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, unconditional love, loss, despair, and suffering. Okay, I'm putting this to the right because that's not you. I'm definitely getting somebody that you may know we have a family connection when it's going to pass away, loss and suffering from a hard situation, not your nature, but despair. Some of you guys are going through definitely a transformation here as well. Let me talk from the fortune cards. Divine kitty tell me the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Divine. Somebody's watching me and said, I'm not going to pass. I heard that. One of whom you will be suspicious will prove, like I said, whoever you're suspicious of on some BS with you, you're going to be proven right in reference to it. One of whom you will be suspicious will prove true. Be careful and avoid a loss. Beware a dark presence and good news is coming within a week or so. Like I said, give it like nine days, whatever the situation is. I'm going to put this in the middle because this has nothing to do with it. Overall energy. Divine, can you tell me the whole truth? Nothing but the truth. Divine, can you tell me the whole truth? Nothing but the truth. Divine, can you tell me the whole truth? Nothing but the truth. The whole truth, nothing but the truth for Sagittarius. Beware of a jealous woman. Be very good luck is in store for you. You need a self-confidence, otherwise you will lose. Money is left by you, something passing away. I don't have to make this up. Beware of a jealous woman, like I said. 
somebody's going to leave you money that passed away. And I think that's where your money comes from. Literally. This, I can't. I can't make it up. It's not to be made up. Literally, I tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Sagittarius. Divine, can you tell me the whole truth, nothing but the truth? It's a loss. Somebody is going to pass. Divine, can you tell me the whole truth, nothing but the truth? Divine mother. Possibly your own mom or grandma. Divine mother. Pray to the divine mother. Divine, could you tell me the whole truth? Nothing but the truth. This is no joke. Sky Daddy. I don't know what Sky Daddy is, but let's read it. I never got that card before. Sky Daddy. Okay. The sun is in the supreme Institute of patriarch, fearsome in his power, but gentle enough to nature life. It's self consistency, dependability, and routine. Mighty know all it does in jubilation and in exuberance, its sorrow and its rage, shining and energizing, sourcing indiscriminately. To worship Sky Daddy is let the sky, let the sunshine cup your face. To work in the garden, to find shapes in the clouds, or to feel peace in the sunset. Those who have endured the dark night of the soul knows this to be sacred. So everybody knows, like when you go through darkness, you must be able to see the light, right? So stand in the light, stand in your truth, and to know that Divine Mother got you. At the end of the day, some of you guys may be also finding out that a mother passed away. Yes. Divine. Why am I still pulling these cards? Not these cards. What am I doing? Um, I shall lie. I'm oh, sorry. Pull these cards. I'm of my cards. Divine, can you tell me the whole truth? Nothing but the truth. For Sagittarius, what is Sagittarius dealing with? Can you tell me the whole truth? Nothing but the truth. Can you tell me the whole truth? Nothing but the truth. Eris, Vista, and I have one that flipped. I didn't take it, but give me one second. New moon, okay, this new moon. Some of you guys are dealing with a Leo. Past, post retrograde. Um, waxing crescent cancer. I'm not this I can't make this up. Astrolytics. I'm gonna have Capricorn in your chart and Cardinal. All right. Leo is represented um by the lion and you can hear them roar as they enter the room into it. Dusty. The lion roars, right? And she just made that noise. They are shining stars of the zodiac ready to take on the world inside. If you want some advice or coordinate you are offered a consult a Leo. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. They will let you know who's boss in a quick sound. Clear on what they want. Leos have zero fear of going for what they said they signed on. All right, so consult a Leo in reference to, like, getting you dressed or um, putting your clothes together or a designer or whatever. Always seek a Leo's advice when it comes to that. They are really good at that type of stuff. Aries, um, name for Greek goddess of chaos. This actual energy is associated with disruption, loss, and catastrophic events. In order to fully understand Aries' chaotic lesson, take a peek of the planets she's connecting to you and what house she sits in. Do not despair when she shows up in your chart. She may be drawing attention and justice and imbalances in your life and helping you learn to stand up for yourself. Okay? The new moon occurs when the sun and the moon are on the same side of the earth. Energetically, the new moon is a phase filled with new beginnings and possibility. A fantastic time to start a new intention and plan seeds for abundance. This is a new. This is a period where you can set yourself up for success ahead. Take advantage of this lunar phase by establishing new routines and committing to healthy habits. The new moon reflects the zodiac position of the sun in that season. For example, if the sun is in Scorpio, the new moon will be also in Scorpio. People born in the first phase are typically adventurous and down to explore new experiences and opportunities. Post-shadow retrograde, 
The post-shadow phase of the retrograde follows the jet which retrograde. This phase takes place after the planet has stationed, when a planet appears to stop before beginning retrograde and is working in its way to a final degree where the cycle began. In this phase, you are clearing up what became undone and was confusing during the actual retrograde. In general, post-shadow um, retrograde is when you can recover to reckon with what got shaken up during that cycle. All right. Um, name the Roman Virgin Goddess Vesta. This brings bright asteroid represents sacred feminine energy and carries a light at the end of the tunnel vibe. She is also like going home on your cool winter's day and sending a warm fireplace and with your heart friends in your chart. So some of you guys may be going home in the winter. Okay, so you might be thinking you're coming home in the summer. You might go home in the winter. Okay, or you may be going somewhere in the winter. Right, I'm, I'm getting like I got twelve thirteen, so that could be significant to you. Vesta can show you where you are devoting your energy, where you find yourself true calling, and the causes you choose to serve in the world. Vesta also supports the birth of children and the healing among siblings. Okay, so healing around the siblings is going to happen. Are you singing? Cancer symbolizes the body crab, which seeks shelter in its own shell. Cancers feel most supported in the comforts of their own home, known for being intuitive, sensitive, and attuned to cycles of the moon. They are often artistically and musically inclined. They are also extremely loyal and protective of those they care about, so much so they can be hard to pull them away from their loved ones. Don't you dare mess with their friends or family or else you will get you you will get those pinchers. Okay. Um Waxing Crescent. Waxing Crescent follows the new moon. During this phase, the, new, the moon at 0.1%, the 49.99%, this phase is extremely um, helpful for the beginning to manifest those new moon intentions you have set for yourself as the waxing, uh, for, as the waxing crescent brings more light into the, your life. This phase gives you a chance to set, test our goals with, with some com refresh energy here you can um, really appreciate fruitful possibilities unfolding in your life. People born in the phase are typically ambitious, curious, and adventurous. Asteroid Lilith. According to ancient Jewish mythology, Lilith was Adam's first wife before Eve. Lilith eventually chose exile because she is unwilling to be servient to her husband. Represented as a sexual free female demon of the night, she is often dis disparaged in traditional texts. Asteroid Lilith represents sexual liberation, standing up to your power and feminine rage. All right. And Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. I um, mean, very heavy in your chart, or you may be dealing with these astrological signs, right? Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn are the cardinal qualities. These qualities represent leadership within the zodiac. Aries, the first zodiac sign, indicates that the spring of astrological new year and the birth or beginning of something. Cancer is the sign of summer solstice. Energy and the abundant wellspring of the divine feminine. Libra balances our um, our scales with the fall equinox, indicating where they have through the year. And Capricorn brings us to the end of a cycle as we spiritually hibernate with the winter solstice. Now, for some of you, if something occurs to you between twelve thirteen and it has been spiritual, know as a Capricorn that was behind this. The energy is giving me wherever you were in your life that happened. You would know because it's an Aries of four zodiac sign, aka spring or astrological new year. So let's say hypothetically, you want to know why you also, why you always go through certain things at a certain time in a month or the year. You will be able to tell by the cardinal signs or by, the, like I said, the astrological wheel, right? So you say Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. So if you would do Aries, usually represents like um police or somebody of authority or um. Stuff like that, right? So if, let's say, a certain time of year, you always deal with something like the law or whatever like that, look and see exactly where it is. Because Aries is a full zodiac sign, and it the spring of astrological new year and birth or the beginning of something new. So you're always missing spring or you're always missing the new year. That's because that Aries did something to you. Um, if you're always going through something in the summer, that's because a cancer is doing something to you. And if you're going through something in the fall, in the fall, an equinox, and it's something negative, know that's a lever behind it. And if you're going through something ne like in the negative in the winter, or you always come out in the winter or whatever like that, it's a Capricorn behind it. So just know exactly what placements is going on behind a situation, depending where what's going on behind what, and you will know who's you know 
the players of the situation. That's the energy I'm getting in reference to that. No. Divine, can you tell me the whole truth? Nothing but the truth. For Sagittarius. Because I know, like, for instance, if you hurt your legs, um, no, I think Sagittarius' legs are the knee cap, I think. But you will know, you will know, you know. Trust me, you will know. Divine, can you tell me the whole truth? Nothing but the truth. The forgiveness. Okay, so you really got to forgive yourself or someone here. Just forgive, yeah. Shape shift. Somebody's a shape shifter. Feeding for either right is passage. So joy. All right. So something is changing, and this year, right? You write a passage basically. You're gonna be Phoenix Rising, so you don't have to worry about that. All right. And this has been your reading, Sagittarius. Later. Bye.